Coach Pelton, uh, obviously, um, our last time I met with you guys was really on signing day. So uh, since then, obviously, Mike Pelton uh, has been hired as our defensive line coach. Uh, we really appreciate Coach Rocker and, and what he has, uh, has done for Auburn in the last two years. And uh, we've hired another great Auburn man in Mike Pelton and a uh, really great player here. And uh, he's really come in and it's really been a seamless transition. Uh, obviously, he worked with me two years at Iowa State, so uh, I'm extremely excited to have Mike back here uh, at a place that he loves so much. Um, today had a uh, really, really good second practice, and uh, we've got, a, we've got a, a challenge in front of us. And, uh, you know, we're going to stay on track with continuing to build the foundation of Auburn. Uh, no different than we did two years ago when we got here. Uh, we got some challenges in front of us, got a lot of young, uh, inexperienced players. I think today after practice, uh, we asked uh, them to raise their hand if uh, they started more six games or more at some point this season. I didn't see them their hands go up. So, uh, so it, was, uh, it was kind of uh, unique to see that. But, um, but again, we've got guys that are eager. And uh, again, we're just going to continue to build on what we started in the previous two years. And I uh, had a really good practice today. And, uh, you know, uh, obviously we've uh, started to move forward in trying to replace 23 seniors and three juniors that left. And, uh, but, again, uh, we're excited to get back into football and to start, you know, start the football part of this again. Our players have been excited the last two days to, to kind of get back into it and get on the field and, and uh, continue to uh, take on a huge challenge, which is uh, next year getting, getting right into this um, schedule. And in this league. So uh, we're excited about where we're at in terms of guys uh, really eager to uh, step up to the plate because they know they have to. And uh, our coaching staff has done a really job, good job preparing these guys. Uh, they've got a great off-season conditioning program with, uh, with Coach Yox in terms of uh, physically getting stronger and faster. I think Coach Yox has done a great job with them. So, um, what I will do is I will uh, open this up and entertain all questions that have to do with spring practice uh, and our current football team. Well, uh, different uh, guys are in different situations, but uh, uh, in terms of uh, Ed's just a little beat up and banged up. Uh, Jessel's got some personal issues that he's still handling. Kavaris. Uh, subtractions and additions on the spring roster, Philip Pierre-Louis, uh, Robert Cooper, Andre Harris, they decided to move on? Or? Well, there's, like I said, uh, I don't want to go into the specifics and the details of, uh, of every guy. Uh, obviously, we hold our guys to a certain standard, and uh, without going into the details of uh, what the situation is with every guy, uh, you know, if you don't see him out there, then, uh, you know, that's, that's not where they're at right now. So. Uh, we'll continue uh, as we move on to proceed with the players that we have out there that you see, and um, we'll continue to get better. Coach, that's just a better idea right now. And uh, Nico is a guy that's going to be able to play. You know, he still we still know he can play corner, uh, he can play safety, and you know he can even play some nickel stuff, nickel and dime stuff. So. You know, he's one of those bodies that gives you some flexibility to be able to do, you know, uh, you know, two or three different things, really. But at the end of the day, his range, you know, being a 6'2 guy, uh, he's got great speed. Uh, we think that position is a position right now where, you know, he can bring a lot to the table. We do have some young corners uh, that we've got to bring along as well. So it made sense in terms of what he can do best, we think, where he can best, you know, help our football team win. Uh, and we think that, you know, again, uh, just looking at what else we have around him, uh, they, can, they can still step in there and play corner even though they're young. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, Sean obviously is, you know, we're continuing to monitor, uh, you know, where Sean's at. It's just great to have him in school. You know, what a great story that this guy has done what he's done. He's in school. Um, you know, obviously within the medical plan, you know, with our medical people, he's doing the things that he needs to do to continue to try to get well and, and be a part of Auburn football. If that happens, uh, that's awesome. Uh, if it doesn't, he's part of the Auburn family and he's here. So that's a great story in itself. 
Uh, Aubrey Phillips is another young man that decided to come back here and, um, you know, uh, give this a, another shot. Uh, he's done everything we've asked him to do. So, again, you know, we welcome him back in. And, and uh, again, we'll, we'll monitor the progress of both of those guys. Gene, did, did you address the team at all about the arrest of the, the four players as, as spring camp opened? And I'm going to talk only about uh, spring practice and, and our football team and guys that are currently on our team.